Okay, so you just bought your very first RV or you're thinking about buying an RV. Welcome to the team. But I have to warn you, the RV community has its very own lingo. And these are terms that you've never heard of before, but they're very, very important that you understand what they mean. Because I don't want you to feel like an idiot like I did. When my camping neighbor came over to me and started talking about a stinky slinky and I had no idea what he was talking about. Busted. Yeah, you gotta know this insider language so you feel like you're part of the group. Hi, if you're new here, I'm Randy. And every Thursday, I help you make big memories in small campers. And the very first thing that you need to know is, what are first time RVers called? A first time RVer is called an RV newbie. And that's what you are. And that's what I was four years ago. But sometimes I still feel like I'm an RV newbie. What is an RV wet bath? RV wet baths are all in one bathrooms. They combine a toilet and a shower and sometimes a sink all in one space. I do have an upcoming video all about wet baths and tips and tricks to make them more efficient. So stay tuned for that video. And what is an RV holding tank? RV holding tanks are tanks that are installed on an RV and there are three holding tanks, a black tank, a gray tank, and a fresh water tank. What is an RV black tank? Your RV black tank is your holding tank for your sewage. This is a nice way of saying, this is where all the things in your toilet go every time you flush it. What is an RV gray tank? Your RV gray tank is the holding tank that stores your wastewater. And this is where the water drains from your sinks and you shower. What is an RV fresh water tank? This is the holding tank that you'll use to fill up with fresh water. And this water will be used for cooking, bathing, and to flush your toilet. What is a dump station? A dump station is the place that you'll go to empty your black and your gray tanks. And if you're camping at a campground that does have a dump station, you'll probably use that dump station because they offer this service for free. But not all campgrounds have dump stations. What is an RV black hose? An RV black hose is the hose that you're gonna use at the dump station to dump your black and your gray tanks. And they're often referred to as stinky slinkies. And I think they're called stinky slinkies because they're flexible and they kind of remind me of the slinkies I used to play with when I was a kid. Do you remember these? They were fun to play with. What is an RV drinking water hose? An RV drinking water hose is the hose that you're gonna use to add fresh water to your fresh water tank. It's made of a material that doesn't leak any toxic chemicals into the water, making it safe for cooking, drinking, and to shower in. However, I'm a little leery about drinking this water if you don't have a water filtration system. That's just my two cents. What is non-potable water used for? you're gonna see non-potable water at dump stations. This water is definitely not drinking water, so never put this water into your fresh water tank. This water is used to flush your black tank or to flush out your black water hose when you're dumping. We're over halfway through this RV lingo list, and I gotta tell you, I literally did not know any of these terms before I bought my first RV. Am I the only one? Let me know if this is brand new to you too. What does full Hookups mean. Full hookups refers to a campsite or a camping spot that includes hookups for water, sewer, and electricity. And not all campgrounds or campsites provide these hookups. Some campsites will just offer electric hookups and then some campsites don't offer any hookups at all. What does dry camping mean? Dry camping is just the opposite of camping with full hookups. You'll be camping without hookups to a water, electricity, or sewage. Therefore, you're gonna be relying on your own self-contained systems. Camping this way isn't difficult, but it does require more planning and preparation. What is boondocking? Boondocking is dry camping in more remote and off the grid areas. So you're not gonna have any amenities or hookups. But I gotta tell you, this is my favorite way of camping. It's usually at a scenic place such as a national or state forest. It's really a great way to experience nature and get off the beaten path. But I didn't start boondocking until, gosh, I think it was in my second year when I started to expand my camping horizons. 
what is mooch docking? Mooch docking is when you camp in your RV, in somebody else's driveway, their yard, or on the property for free. <laughs> Sometimes when you're doing this type of camping, you might be able to hook up to the property owner's electricity and maybe sometimes even their water. What is Wally docking? <laughs> Wally docking refers to dry camping in a Walmart parking lot. And many Walmarts allow free overnight camping in their parking lots. So a lot of our beers take advantage of this, especially when they have long travel days and they want just a place to spend the night and get some sleep. What is a weekend warrior? Me, I'm a weekend warrior. Weekend warriors are RVers that typically just go camping on the weekend. What are the unwritten campground etiquette rules? Oh boy, the unwritten campground etiquette rules. These are camping etiquette rules that aren't written anywhere, but they do exist and you need to know about them. These unwritten rules are largely based on common sense and courtesy. For example, you should never ever walk through someone else's campsite, even if the people camping there aren't there or it's a shortcut to get to someplace. I wanted to mention this one because I was guilty of breaking this rule more than one time. I guess that explains some of the funny looks I got. But don't worry, I've got you covered. So you too don't break any of these rules and experience some of those funny looks that I got. Because this video right up here tells you everything you need to know about these unwritten rules. So click here now to watch this video next and I can't wait to see you over in this video next. And of course, I can't wait to see you next Thursday. Yay, that's a wrap.